Hi there, and again a warm welcome to the workshop Slided Baby, my personal bottleneck Waldzitter experience. My name is Stefan, and again I'm going to be showing you my personal approach to the bottleneck or slide Waldzitter style. Today's lesson, this is lesson two, will be about the question what actually is a bottleneck? A bottleneck or a slide can be made from any type of smooth hard material that allows tones to resonate. The texture of this bottleneck, this means its weight and thickness, causes differences in the sounds produced, especially with regard to sustain and loudness, while the surface structure influences the tonal clarity. Heavier bottlenecks usually can produce longer, warmer and louder tones, but they also require more mastery to play with. Bottlenecks usually have a tubular shape, similar to the neck of a beer bottle, this is why we say bottleneck, and a length of one to three inches. And glass still remains a very popular material. There are, for example, brass, ceramic, porcelain and glass bottlenecks. Porcelain and brass slides produce a rich, full and resonating sounds, which is why they are very popular among blues guitar players. So the sound goes similar like this. So this was a brass bottleneck. A ceramic, or so, sorry, a porcelain slide uh, produces a sound like this. So it's not too far away from each other. Glass bottlenecks produce a warm, soft sound almost without side noise. So the sound is like this. So it's a bit softer, as you may have heard. Metal bottlenecks based on chrome or aluminium produce a more aggressive sound, but they need to be used carefully since they produce side noise more easily. To be honest, I still haven't tried metal bottlenecks with a wild sitter. Um, well, I think this may be a topic for um, further studies on this. Well, the biannual system symposium, I already talked about this, uh, has taken place since 2003 in Seoul, Thüringen, Germany. This is in the eastern part. And this is an important and interesting event for professional lay musicians who are dedicated in interest in the latest developments and in the history of the Waldsitter, for example. So, it was by mere accident that I discovered the possibility of playing a Waldsitter with a glass bottleneck, and so I came up with the idea for this workshop. Uh, well, how do you handle such a bottleneck or slide? Well, this tube is lightly pressed against the strings, it should not be pressed on the frets and neither on the fretboard because then uh, the, the strings cannot produce a, a good sound. The pitch is varied by moving the slide up and down the neck. This is what I did as I presented to you the various kinds of bottleneck. The technique is adequate for playing glissandi. This means these uh, sliding sounds that you produce by moving the slide up and down on the fretboard. Furthermore, human sounds like crying, sighing or weeping or natural sounds can be imitated. So the bottleneck style can also be combined with vibrato sounds. Normally, only one chord shape can be played, since uh, the tubular structure is very straight, of course. Theoretically, the bottleneck style can be combined with normal playing, but this is fairly challenging and needs a lot of practice. Another approach would be to slam chords while, for example, a vocalist is singing or um, one of your um, colleagues is, is playing a solo or something like this. And you can 
intersperse these chords with some slight fill-in phrases. Especially open tunings seem to be ideal for this bottleneck style. Those of you who play the guitar may be acquainted, for example, with the open E or the open G tuning. Due to the open C tuning, the Waldsitter seems to be suitable for being played with a bottleneck as well. In my humble opinion, opinion slight Waldsitter can be finger picked or played with a flat pick, a plectrum. The bottleneck is usually worn over the third or fourth finger, so the ring or the little finger. Uh, me personally, I prefer to use the left ring th finger because then I can control the sounds that I produce more easily. In addition to that, I still prefer glass bottlenecks since, um, well, I think they are the easiest uh, ones to handle. But anyway, do feel invited to try any finger and any kind of bottleneck you like.